Hello everyone. Welcome to the second part of tutorial push notification using React Native and Firebase. So in this part of tutorial we will be learning how to connect APN that is Apple push notification service and FCM that is Firebase cloud messaging together because to make a push notification using Firebase work we need to connect it to Apple push notification service and for that we need to do several steps like uh, we need to create some keys and we need to create some provisioning profiles in the developer uh, console and download all those uh, keys and provisioning profile to the XRX code project so first thing we will do is that we will go to Con Firebase Google Console and let's go to Firebase Google Console and create a new project you need to give a name to the project you need to select your country and click on create project after the project is created you will get this screen you need to click on add firebase to your ios app and enter the bundle id of your project so we will get the bundle id and register our app on firebase now we will get this screen and we need to download the google service info playlist file okay it has been downloaded here and i have to rename it because it need to be google service info dot playlist but two has been appended to it which shouldn't be there There are two playlist files, so I need to rename both. Okay, now it has been renamed. So now we need to drag it to our project. We need to drag it just above the info playlist file. and you need to select copy items if needed create groups and rnf okay so our google service info playlist file is here just for the confirmation let's recheck the name it's rn firebase so it's the correct file okay so now next we need to create a key in the developer apple account so let's go to the developer apple account and you need to have a membership of developer apple account which costs 99 dollars so i have taken that membership once you log in to your developer apple account and if you have taken the membership then it will show you this screen okay so you need to go to the keys okay sorry you need to go to certificate identifi identifiers and profiles 
okay now we need to go to keys all and click on all I have already created one key so you just need to create one key and it will be it will work for all your projects okay and I will show you how to create a key you need to click on the add key button you need to enter the key description you can give any name to the key like uh, I gave the firebase push notification and you need to check this APNS checkbox okay because we need the key for Apple push notification I need to click on continue and you need to uh, in the next screen you will get a download button you need to download the key so I have already performed all these steps so I have this key okay and I have downloaded it's one time download so make sure you uh, download it at it at a place where you can retrieve it easily because it cannot be downloaded again otherwise you have to create another key so I will be using that key next thing we need to create is uh, our app ID yeah our app ID so let's create the app ID so first we need to enter the name of the app let's say it's RNF and then we need to enter the bundle ID and make sure you check the push notification checkbox because that is important for notification to work and let's click on continue so everything is working fine so now let's register the app ID so our app ID is registered let's click on done now let's create a provisioning profile it's it will be the development profile because we are not in uh, right now in the development phase and that's it we need to select the app ID that we just created and it was RNF we need to select the iPhone iOS development environment that we are going to use sorry that was the account name and this is the iPhone that we will be using and we need to give a name to the provisioning profile so it will be RNS development for me here it's RNF and we are done now we need to download this and we need to double click to install it so once you double click it's get it gets installed so we have created our app ID we have created our provisioning profile we have added the Google service info playlist so I think we are done with most of the work now we need to add the capabilities and we need to turn on the notification and choose our account we need to turn on the keychain sharing and make sure these two are checked and we need to 
turn on the background modes and make sure the background fetch and remote notification is checked so now we are done with everything and now we can just run our app and see that things are working so if everything has worked so the build is succeed, succeeded so our app is working fine after performing all those steps and one more step we need to perform and that is we need to upload the key that I showed you uh, in the first that is the first step that I showed in the first step that I showed you we need to upload it to the Firebase account so let's do it we have created the app we need to go to cloud messaging and we need to go for APNS authentication key here we need to upload the APNS key that is the P8 file this is my p8 file and we need to enter the key id we will get the key id here this key we have we first need to download and just we have uploaded and here is our key id we need to enter this key ID and we need to enter the prefix the prefix of the app the app ID prefix and then finally we can click on upload button so it will upload the key so we are done with this part of tutorial these are the steps that you have to perform sequentially and your app will work and in next part of tutorial we will uh, add some codes to the react native part and some to the export part so basically the coding part we will do in the next part of the tutorial and i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and this tutorial will make you make your projects much easier so make sure you subscribe to our channel and also check the description box for the details of this tutorial so thank you for watching